We're here in Epcot today, and um, we just did um, the Winnie the Pooh back in Christopher Robin's room that they just brought back, so that was really cool. And uh, Ollie got to meet Winnie the Pooh up close and personal. It was really exciting, and he really enjoyed it. We are now heading over to Test Track, I think. And um, yeah, so stick around and enjoy the day with us here in Epcot. We'll be back here tonight as well um, for dinner. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great day, so stick around. Look at this. Holiday Sweets and Treats opens tomorrow. Today's Thanksgiving. So all this, these booths are becoming like uh, Christmas holiday booths. Holiday sweets and treats. So we're going to come treats. back. That sounds amazing. Tomorrow. 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 How about today? <laughs> I wish. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just saying that looks amazing. Oh, everything looks amazy. Is it? Well, Have you had it? Today we are. We're trying oh, it today. Okay. And so we can open up tomorrow. Okay, cool. I can't well, wait. Sounds good. Yep. All right. A chocolate Enjoy. peppermint Happy shake. Yeah. You guys might have to try that. In a peppermint sundae. Do you think that sounds good? A chocolate peppermint shake? Actually, the shake was um, $12. Oh, no, I did not. So $4. That's right up our alley. Not like the tacos, but like Yes. Hopefully, it'll be bigger. Oh, look at the monorail going by. That never gets old. So here's the tree, not lit up currently, or actually it probably is, we just can't tell. But it will be tonight. We need a tree like that. <laughs> I don't it think- It won't go in our yard, it'll go in our living room. I don't think that'll fit in our house. Oh, it'll fit. <laughs> it looks pretty awesome. We'll make it fit. We'll have to come back tonight fit. and have that picture. And hopefully they don't cut Ollie's head off like they oh, did last goodness. night. Yeah, why did they do that? <laughs> it was such a good picture too. I didn't know they were my bed. It's got a little filling left. <laughs> <laughs> it looks great. A little hole. So we're heading into this gift store that now sells Pandora merchandise. So we're gonna check that out. That's kind of new. Oh, this is a great bag. I'm digging that. That is, oops. This Vera Bradley bag is really nice. I really like that a lot. I'm sure it is a fortune. I just knocked another one down. Put that up, get their alarms on them. I love the shape of that bag. Yeah. Ooh. That was the ring she had. Hi there. Part of it. Which one? That one. She must have had it stacked with something. Hmm. Because that was the one she had. But I like that. That's pretty. Yeah, yeah they're all nice. I've never seen that one. I like that second one down. The pear one? Yeah. I like the one below that. Nice. Pretty. So we just got the Festival of the, Festival of the Holidays um, passport book. I haven't taken a chance to look through it yet. I will shortly. We're heading over to look at some of the different Christmas decorations here in um, in Epcot. So let's take a look, see how they are. We're gonna start with France. So that's what's coming around this corner here. The weather's warmed up a little bit, which is nice. Also, 
Il se passe au Seven Days of Way, on le read, si un des gars qui a dit un truc, un François, il ne peut pas mettre tout cet article de trash. Il met un truc, il dit, c'est quoi que c'est ici On ne peut pas mettre un signe dans un truc, c'est ce que c'est. Even though it was invented by an Italian. See, he's all came through. Now, you know, he's a good actor, he's a good actor. Why not? The little drum airport. Well, another confirm and for a vast and the statues were made for the nativity. Also, these are here every year back in France. I think they're super pretty. They're part of their decorations here. No, no, you're fine. Okay. Thank you. So those look super yummy. What a beautiful display. Here we are. I don't actually know how to say that, but that's where we are in the back of France. And so they have single is $5.75, $7.95 for a double. Same a single and a double in the uh, cones. So these are the different sizes right here. That's actually a cool waffle bowl. That would be cool if you knew how to make that at home. Oh, that's awesome. So those waffle bowls and the cones are made in this waffle maker fresh. Holy moly. Kaylee, what are those things called again? I forgot. Macaroons. That is the biggest macaroon I've ever seen. It's like almost the size of a Big Mac. Oh, there's the regular size ones. Here you go. Little. Massive. Super sized. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. Holy moly. Oh, they got Christmas macarons in here? They are humongous. Kira, what do you got? Coffee. It's, it's good? Literally, the tastes like coffee. Nice. What'd dad get over there? Oh. Nice. The gingerbread. <laughs> ten out of ten. This is a ten out of ten. What? If you like coffee, this is get this ice cream. It tastes like you're drinking coffee, only you're not. Like, what do you got, Kaylee? Mango and raspberry. Okay. Okay. So I just had the pina colada sorbet. Uh, the sorbet itself is good. Not my favorite flavor. Here's coffee. Um, ice cream, very yummy. However, probably shouldn't have pina colada followed by coffee ice cream. It doesn't mix well together. But um, we never actually knew this little place was back here. And uh, tried it out here today, and it's a, it's a hit. So we'll definitely be back. Let's check out this uh, display here at the front of Epcot. We're at the back of Epcot. We were. So let's take a look at this front display in a second. I see it all lit up. It'll look better when we come back here after dinner. Yeah, it is. Oh, that looks beautiful with the poinsettias and the flowers. Looks awesome. Just walking around uh, a pot here. Everything looks so lit up and nice. That tree looks amazing. We've been seeing it during the day, so seeing it at night with all those lights, twinkling is pretty spectacular. Beautiful. The angel looks like it weighs probably, oh, a lot. Can't even imagine how heavy it is. That looks awesome. And the ball, I can't tell if you can see it, but it has Mickey heads going.
Hmm? How will we need to borrow the growing needs for food production, yet still respect the needs of the land? Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. To help us maintain these carefully controlled ecosystems, and for your safety, please remain seated in your boat at all times. That's cool, the snowman. I like the little lights. Almost look like little Easter eggs. How Welcome cute. to our glimmering greenhouses, where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture illuminate the wondrous gifts we receive from the land. Join us as we ring in the most bountiful time of the year. For some, it's difficult to imagine the holidays without winter and snow, but one of the most important holiday crops actually grows in the tropics. For centuries, farmers in Central America have cultivated cacao to make chocolate. In fact, cacao is chocolate's main ingredient. Today, people around the world are able to enjoy a variety of sweets and keep warm with a cup of hot cocoa, thanks to this tropical plant. You only need one cup to stay warm, apparently. One cup of hot cocoa? <laughs> That's what he just said. I think I need more. They got nice wreaths. Oh yeah, it looks pretty. <coughs> this is pretty cool. Isn't it? I like it. It's a hidden nickel. Where? Oh yeah, the two wreaths and the doorway yep. opening. I don't know if I would have noticed that till later. I got a using our sustainable water systems, make up just some of the dishes served during this great meal. Today, the United States, the tradition is not very fishy in here. Doesn't normally smell like that in there. But it doesn't normally smell like that in there. Oh, this looks like like a reindeer. Oh, those are plastic pipes that stain the ground. Like the oranges grown oh, here cool. are common in Florida, cool. but in Northern Europe, where fresh fruit is rare in winter, they're much it's harder nice to find, making them an extra oh, yeah. special stocking stuffer. All, uh, all the ancient lights in the middle. Yeah, they're are pretty awesome. Good fortune. Got lots of coffee over here, presents. Oh, that looks really delicious. It, the Swiss chard, it looks so yummy. They say it's better to give than to receive. And wow, in this look at that eggplant with the, the twinkling light. Back to the land using innovative farming techniques. By recycling water, you can give plants rich nutrients. By giving plants latent bugs, we're able to control pests and reduce the need for pesticides. And by growing ground plants vertically, we give them better protection from these This is actually really cool. Right? Yeah. 
amazing, actually. Or they even have like hanging things or oh. twinkling. I just noticed that. I actually like those. They almost look like vegetables, but they're light. With these gifts, our plants can grow an abundance of festive vegetables. This greenhouse alone grows a bountiful 15 tons of produce each year. When we give more, we receive more, making the most of the land's green gifts. This looks amazing. Many of the plants you see here help spice up the holiday. The bark of cinnamon trees, like the one growing beside you. Oh, look at all the stockings hanging in the window. Do you like eggnog? You can thank nutmeg for the seeds and taste, other spices, ginger and vanilla, add flavor to a variety of holiday cookies, cakes, and other delights. By cultivating these festive plants with care and good cheer, Epcot scientists are able to celebrate the holidays with the land's many gifts. Tilapia. I want a stocking that big guy. Yeah, really. <laughs> Please keep your hands inside the boat at all times. <laughs> Enough about that. This is going to conclude our weekend here. For over Thanksgiving and uh, hope you guys enjoying the videos don't forget to subscribe